So we were driving through the country. We were actually uh, looking for a place to record and we stumbled across this cool roadside attraction. This is the drive-through Museum of Wonder. Doing a little research about it, it says that there's all kind of neat little oddities here. We figured we would stop and check it out. So rather than stay at home after all these days traveling, we decided, just Amy and I, to get out and find something interesting to see today. So we were looking for another place here when we stumbled across this place. According to the sign, this is the world's first drive-through art and antique gallery. And they have erected these container to, uh, make like an archway driving in kind of reminds me of police academy as they're driving into the old zoo this is drive through across it and this old airstream trailer here this is museum of wonder they do want you to give donations inside of the trailers are all kind of weird things like this human skull sitting there right below it is a dinosaur bone that was found in the Mississippi River. A duck-billed hydrosaur. There's a neat little story behind this. This is a mummified chicken. The story there is, is uh, there was a place here in this town called Top Hat. Uh, it was the Top Hat restaurant, Top Hat chicken restaurant, something like that. And they were closing down, moving out. When they moved the kitchen equipment out, they found that mummified chicken behind one of the stoves which is pretty gross. Here's the, the skeleton of some alligators. Here's another one. Check out this old prosthetic leg hanging here. That's kind of neat. I don't know how old that thing is, but obviously it's really old. Back here in these trailers, some more unique things like for example all of these ducks these are all real ducks that were stuffed a mummified alligator this old camera this is shut up and kiss me on the outside of it there's a, an image of two heads inside of it there the world's largest gallstone the jaw of a woolly mammoth I just have to say this place is a little more creepy than it is breathtaking there's a two-headed duck the ancient Roman statue of a woman pouring water that's kind of neat I like ancient Rome they have these little artwork depictions here of decapitated human beings and people being decapitated by this two-headed monster here you can see there's somebody there about to have their head cut off and there's people with their high their hands tied up in line here while these people have already had their heads chopped off this next one's kind of the same story looks like some devilish looking creatures has somebody are locked up there and they're torturing him while this large dragon creature is getting a hold of these people but look at this guy in the back what is he doing he's ramming that pitchfork somewhere that it ought not be rammed in his nether regions these over here are much of the same people being tortured with alien and devilish like creatures and this one looks like a bunch of people on a boat while these devilish creatures are trying to capture them this place is more strange and creepy than it is unique and museum like like they have just some random struck some random items bicycle tires and car tire rims welded together 
as art inside of this little tin shed. It would appear this guy lost his ear. Twelve thousand year old mastodon toe. But my thing is, are, are these actually mastodon toes, or are they just putting in an old petrified rock up here and saying it's a mastodon toe? I mean, who has verified that these bones are real? There's a display case there with some Indian arrowheads and some other Indian artifacts. This case here, this is a collection of items that were removed from the esophagus of small children from St. Francis Hospital in Columbus, Georgia. All of these keys, bottle caps, toys, a pencil, a screw, a dime, a fishing hook, and a safety pin, and a pocket knife down here in this bottom right hand corner. Wow, kids will eat anything. Here's a tube with a collection of dismembered baby doll parts. Back there behind it, a shelf with different animal skeletons. There's a sand dollar down there, right there. All kind of neat and interesting things. They've also constructed just these random objects for out front. The only thing left here in this location is they have a wrecking ball graveyard. And for starters, I didn't show you this. That shack is made out of signs, road signs from the Department of Transportation. But this is a wrecking ball graveyard. So if you're a wrecking ball and you are here in the small town of Seal, Alabama, this is where you go to die. I feel like Molly Cyrus. I came in like a wrecking ball. And last but not least, while we're here, we're gonna leave our mark behind somewhere around here where everybody else has left theirs. We left our stickers behind so people can follow us when they come check this out. So we're gonna move on to the next location now. We were leaving the, when we happened to just look across the street and see this little area over here. I'm, uh, an old cabin over here. Inside of it, they got a bed, there's a fireplace. That's cool looking. The name of this place is called Heritage Park. There's another one here that's rounded. There's these cool metal straps around it. I don't know if this was used for cooking or what. I'm not sure, but it's still neat. And the fact that it's from around 1885 and it's still standing is even cooler. We have this whole area around it down down here is supposed to be covered in, in water but this is a mock of a steamboat with the steering wheel there and the smokestacks here. and the paddle wheel back here in the back all of the bottom of it should be covered in water to give it a more realistic feel but i guess they have it shut off right now but I could see that being a neat little area where kids could play like they're, you know, captain of a boat with all this filled up with water here. There's also just some neat motor mechanism over here. This is a grist mill. Oh, we saw one of these there at Nakalula Falls the other day. This is going to be a foundry worker. He's pouring that molten metal down into a, a cast there. This is a textile mill worker. They even have uh, some portraits here of the weaving rooms. This is pretty neat. This uh, electric generator, much like an alternator from a car. It's even belt driven, just like your car. And finally, they have a bronze statue of a farmer. As the name says it's here to honor the heritage of Columbus but 
we are going to head to the car and then start heading back towards home well you guys we made it back home at first i was a little unsure when i first saw the drive through museum i was like man it's not worth it to drive all the way out here to see this but it was okay and uh, that park across the street was pretty cool too so i'm gonna call it a day tomorrow we have to leave to go back to gadsden so amy can work so tomorrow will be a travel episode i want to thank you all for watching and i will see you again tomorrow <laughs>